So, game mechanics. What do they have to do with education? Well, they definitely have something to do with games. And in fact, what a game mechanic does is um, it helps shape play trigger behaviors and establish patterns. We'll go over a couple examples of these things, but as educators, these are exactly the kinds of things we typically look for in, uh, in learning activities. We want students to take theoretical knowledge and apply them to particular situations. We also want uh, students to interact with each other so they can learn from each other, deepen learning, and we also want them to be able to demonstrate their mastery or lack thereof. We want to be able to see what they know and what they don't so we can come back in and either reteach or recover some uh, material and so students can actually get to the end of the course with the objectives we have in mind. Uh, this page on I Teach You has a, a variety of things. There's a video down below. Uh, it covers two game designers and players, and they go through a series of um, game mechanics. And uh, it's, in, it's an hour long, but it's interesting um, in terms of what they kind of list as game mechanics. And I'm going to actually list those right now. Um, bear with me. So these are some of the topics that those two gentlemen cover in their talk. Um, and they're, they do a pretty good job of covering a lot of game mechanics and they give illustrations from a variety of games, both um, tabletop and role playing and sporting events and um, traditional games and some oddball games and they're, they kind of put them in these kinds of categories. As educators, when we're trying to create learning experiences or game designers when you're trying to um, create games, what you want to do is pay particular attention to the kinds of game mechanics you employ. Because in a game, you're trying to establish behaviors, same thing in a classroom. And so as when I'm trying to create learning experiences, I would be more after game mechanics that for instance, uh, encourage students to talk with each other. So something with uh, anything with trading or voting, um, I would look at games with those particular elements or mechanics in mind because that encourages players to, uh, for instance, if they're trading resources, the students would need to know what resources they have, the value of those, the value of those compared to other players around the game, uh, and it would force students to evaluate how are these resources going to help me meet my objectives in the game. Um, I'd also pay particular attention to the kinds of turn mechanics that are in a game. Uh, I wouldn't want, for instance, if a lesson is an hour, I wouldn't want certainly turns to last much more than five minutes. Uh, I would also want the turn mechanics to encourage um, a rapid, either rapid shift in play, or certainly avoid a situation where one player kind of monopolizes the time, because you want an activity that's as active as possible for as many participants as possible. Um, so that that's kind of an example of uh, the kind of critical thought that you you should be um, employing when you're designing a learning activity or when you're selecting a game for a learning activity. Uh, the research articles that I've linked on this page, I'll just go over quickly. Um, the Arnab article talks about learning mechanics and gaming mechanics. And they make an analogy and, and uh, similarity between um, some of the gaming mechanics and what they call learning mechanics, and it's an interesting read. Uh, the Shell book is really an encyclopedic resource on all sorts of game mechanics. They go through examples, and if you're thinking about designing a game for your classroom, um, it's really a good resource to read. And a lot of people think of games as competitive things, and they think, well, I don't want, I don't want to encourage competition. This is really a cooperative endeavor. 
endeavor. Uh, the Rocha article talks specifically about cooperative games and the kind of mechanics that you might want to employ to encourage cooperation. Um, so good luck with game mechanics, and if you have any questions, please get in touch.